君が泣くのなら、そう、僕は、このままになろう。今。Like、Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? There's no way she. No. I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, AK. No, she can't do this! I'm shaking. Everything is falling apart so fast. My facade, my friends, AK. This is all because of me. I'm the one to blame. He'll probably start hating me even more now. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but. Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know. Does she? Eh? Why would she do something like that? I'm gonna lose everything! All the things I've worked so hard to build up. Everything. Lost. She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. I sigh. I'm a little relieved. Maybe Aki will believe that I'm happy. I really got scared for a minute. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, AK. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she's in when she is when. You've read that line before. Just how much does she know about me? I can't think straight. How could she know about that? I've never shown this side of me to anybody before. There's no way she can know so much. I bite my hand as hard as I can. I want this to stop. Also, she turns into a Titan. Man, that would be an awesome left turn. That would be the only acceptable way for Attack on, on Titan to be a thing. Um, also, I just realized that Monica's data at power appears to be like Heaven's Door. Like, she can just read the book of somebody and also write commands into them. But it's not as blatant. She has to work from external parameters. However, she can affect their environment instead of just them. It's like a side grade to Heaven's Door. MONICA'S A POEM! Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. She knew what she was saying, I know that for sure. I'm scared. I don't want the club to stop having a welcoming atmosphere. I want to keep being here. What if I can't do so anymore? Where will I go? I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, uh, alright. Nikki sits at the table. He looks really concerned. Monica walks towards me and kneels down beside me. She starts whispering. Hey, Sayori, are you alright? Uh, of course I am! Tell me, did you happen to hear me and Aki? I feel a chill go down my spine. Why am I so scared? No, I didn't. Why? Was it important? Liar. What is she saying? How does she know? You're a horrible person, Sayori. You're a liar. Wow, that's a fresh one, actually. What am I seeing? This isn't real. This isn't Monica. Did you really think that I wouldn't notice? Did you expect me to let you believe things would get better? You heard what I told AK about you. I know what you're afraid of. If I wanted to, I could destroy your whole facade right now. So listen to me carefully, Sayori. Give up. Stop trying to get closer to AK. You're merely making his life harder. By trying to make everyone happy, you're just making everything worse. I'm the one who decides here. You have no right to influence things. Make sure you forget about what I just said, alright? I don't understand. Why is Monica saying these things? How am I supposed to forget? So, remember, Sayori, we care about you, okay? Monica gives me a compassionate smile and walks away. I don't really remember what she said. Was I spacing out? Why do I feel worse than before? Monica tried her best to cheer me up. That That's pretty heaven's door. I will forget what I just heard. I'm just ungrateful. She's going out of her way to be extra kind to me, and here I am, feeling depressed again. I also realized that 
That implies that Monica is afraid of Sayori, because as the vice president, she's the closest to being able to gain similar power. Since she does actually get it in the end. Although, somehow Monica came back as code, or I guess everything got wiped in the origin in the bad ending, the bad slash neutral ending of Doki Doki. Everything gets wiped before there's any chance for retaliation, but it's possible that Sairi also became like a code master even without her character file, and then it would just be data wars forever, an apocalyptic wasteland where nothing is real and only suffering exists. I look at AK. Natsuki is already talking to him. I really feel like I shouldn't be listening to them, but after what Natsuki told me yesterday, I want to see what she'll do with him. I won't make you wait any longer. Jeez. Now you're making me feel like a jerk. If something's bothering you, then you can just tell me to leave you alone, and I will. I mean, assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. She's really trying her best in her conversation with Eike. Nah, I'm probably making it seem like a bigger deal than it is. I've just been thinking about Sayori, that's all. Sayori? Thinking about her? Natsuki looks hurt. That's exactly what I was fearing. People can't be themselves when they're worried. Maybe everyone would continue to their happy chats if I left the room. But maybe they'd be worried. I can't risk it. Yeah, she seems pretty down today. But she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh. She exhales. Did she seriously believe AK would fall for me? She's trying so hard to keep her emotions hidden. Well, first of all, you should really work on your phrasing. But anyway, you're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Then in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then you would be the first person she would go to, right? Well, I guess that's true. I can't tell if Natsuki is either trying to help me or if she's trying to get me out of her way. But either way, I really appreciate it. I don't want anyone to think about me. I can take care of myself. You cannot. You have not eaten in two days. You don't shower anymore. I mean, some people just have those days. You can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. Well, that's, yeah. How could she pinpoint what I'm feeling so accurately? Oh, that's right, my secret theory that Natsuki is in fact the strong, the most aware of the parameters. She doesn't have any data manipulation going on at all, but she is the most aware of everything that's being screwed with. Or was that supposed to be Yuri? Maybe they're all noticing. Maybe. Maybe she's lived through this kind of thing before. But there's no way for me to know. Just like with Yuri. Suki deserves to be happy too, and I'll try my best to get her that way. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. No, why is he blaming himself now? Can't things just go normally? Exactly. If she needs you to worry about her, then it'll be a lot more obvious. Yeah. Miki's expression softened a bit, and Suki's words soothed him. I should have thought of it that way from the start. Natsuki looks down and feels with the book she's holding. She... she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? What's she trying to do? Does she really want AK to say that he hates me? Ah... Uh, don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... I was not! Jeez, if you're fine, then let's hurry and get started already. Yeah, yeah. Just as I expected, those two are flirting with each other. It doesn't feel like the literature club anymore. This is a foreign place. The happy ambiance is gone. The silence of the room is broken once Monica decides to speak. Okay, everyone. She's acting as if nothing happened. Why don't we share our poems now? After Monica finishes talking, everyone resumes their normal activities. Time was... It was frozen, I guess. Everyone is happily chatting amongst themselves, but I still feel like everything's dull. I don't want to share my poem. I just want to go home. Without even looking at him, I know Ike is already walking towards Natsuki, poem in hand. They both nervously laugh for a bit. I'm still not moving. I'm trying to focus on their voices. Let's see, let's see! You're certainly enthusiastic today. You know I like your writing. I'm just surprised. Seemed like you had a lot of trouble admitting that before, and now she's acting like a toddler. 
It's obvious that Natsuki acts a lot more confident after getting so close to AK. I used to feel happy being around him before, but now I just feel uneasy. I'm just glad these two are getting along. It's... it's the only thing that matters. Well, well of course! I just had to put you in your place a little bit. It's not like... I mean, it's not like I was shy or anything stupid like that. Or jealous. I really wasn't jealous. Just because he happened to be a good writer? That's such a dumb thing to get jealous about. <laughs> she's trying so hard to hide her uneasiness, yet she's just making it worse. Is it that way for me too? No, I'm sure people believe in my facade, but I still don't understand how Monica knew. Was she bluffing, maybe? Natsuki. What? You're not very confident about your writing, are you? <laughs> what are you talking about? Nani! Baka! My writing is obviously the best! Right? What is he trying to do? Natsuki looks so embarrassed and uneasy. It's unlike Eki to intentionally make people feel bad. Why doesn't he answer? Doesn't he like what she writes? Why? It hurts me just as much as it hurts her. I don't want to see him behaving like that. So everything did change. Right? AK? Please just tell me you like my poems. I don't care if you hate them. Just please tell me I'm the best. I just... I just really need to hear that from someone. I know I sound stupid. But there's a reason I never shared my poems before this. Natsuki... No, I don't want things to go this way. If Natsuki has a breakdown, then who's to say I'll be strong enough to not have one myself? I just want to tell her everything will be alright. I want everybody to be happy. But I can't do anything. I can't even help my own friends. Because I'm too weak. I clench my fist. Please make this end. Please make the club the place it used to be. Because... Because nobody ever takes me seriously. What's the point in sharing my poems if people just laugh and say, That's so cute! Just like you, Natsuki! Sometimes I don't want to be cute! But somebody understands that! I try really hard when I write! The style doesn't matter! The emotions are there! Why can't anyone see that? I just want... She stops mid-sentence. She's definitely having a breakdown. Why does my heart hurt so much? Is this what it feels like, seeing your own friends suffer? This is why I wanted everyone to be happy. And by bringing AK here, I hurt everyone. There's no winner in this situation. Natsuki broke down. AK hates me. Yuri is hurting herself. It's my fault. It's all my fault. Wait, am I crying? No, 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 no. I can't let things go this way. I deeply inhale and I wipe the tears on my cheek. I need to know if Natsuki's alright. Hey, hey, Natsuki. If you're not careful, you'll rip your own poem. He gently takes the poem from her. Did, did he purposely touch her hand? He places it on a desk and flattens it. D don't read it! She grabs the poem and holds it tightly against her chest. I glance at my poem. Maybe I shouldn't share it either. He probably won't care about it. It's not any good. I know you hate my poems. So you don't have to read this one, okay? But I want to read it. Why? Because. I like your poems. I really do. Why would I judge you for your style? It's not like my own style is anything crazy. I mean, it's true that the first time I read one of your poems, I didn't look much into it. But I know you better now. And it's wrong for Yuri to think your style is more amateur than- Whoa, wait, what? why are you bringing up Yuri? Wow, you're still an asshole. And Sayori, she always means well. But sometimes she's so focused on simple happiness that she doesn't understand what people really want. Hmm. Why? Why would he say something like that? Does he even realize how horrible it is to fail at everything? To try your best to cheer everyone up when you can't be happy yourself? I swore I'd stay strong. How could I do so when the person I look up to most sees me in such a negative way? Yeah. I guess I never really thought about how hard it is for you. Man, I'm sorry if I was part of that problem. I understand now. You're not just cute. You're a lot more than that. Ah, Natsuki, you're doing it again. His words. Why are they so powerful? If only they were for me. If only he could help me. If only he'd know. No, 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 no! I can't let myself think about this. I can't let him know. If he knows, it's over. 
I won't ever find a way to be happy, and I'll just make his life do harder. I can do this. I can manage. Actually, the the cruel part is that she's right. Despite all of his MC couldn't powers, he can't save Sayori. Although he theoretically may have been able to help if he had known. If he had known from the beginning, maybe. But he didn't. That's not how it's written and everything is very sad. But that is how it continues from the good end. Sort of. You can read it. Just turn that way. I don't want you to look at my face right now. Okay, I will. He starts reading the poem. Natsuki still looks shaken. Heike is so focused on her poem. It's strange. I've never seen him act like that. He seems much more... mature. Maybe that's why he hates me. He still sees me as a kid. After he stops reading, he intensely stares at Natsuki. I can see he's looking at her with admiration. 